All right, our last comparing functions is an equation versus a table, okay? And again, what I want to do in the equation, the table, is I want to find the rate of change, and I want to find the initial values, okay? This will tell me some information. So I want to find both from each of these, so the rate of change and the initial value. So again, like I talked in the previous one, it's really easy to find the rate of change. That's what the slope is, so it's right here. So your rate of change in this one is 8. And it looks like that's what they're going to charge, $8 per bracelet. The initial value can be found right here. That's your B or your Y-intercept. That is negative 15. Okay, that lets me know that she started in the hole. So she must have had to buy material at the beginning, so that's why she started in the hole. All right, so rate of change for Carol is $8. Initial value is 15, negative 15. Okay. For Kate, again, I'm going to find the rate of change. <clears throat> I pick two coordinate points or on here. I'm going to pick these two right here. So I'm going to look over here at the Y, 15 to 20. So I'm going to take 20 minus 15 over 4 minus 3. Because notice that 420 is this coordinate. 315 is this coordinate pair. 20 minus 15 is 5. 4 minus 3 is 1. Hey, I get a unit rate, so I don't have to do any simplifying. So this tells me that since this is the unit rate, that's the rate of change. So the rate of change is $5. Okay. So it appears that she is selling bracelets for $5 um, for her rate of change. Okay. So now I'm going to find the initial value. Initial value, I would look for where x is 0, and I notice on this one that x is, there is no x is 0. So what I would have to do is I would have to create one where x is 0. So I have to count backwards, 4, 3, 2, 1. I have to put a 0 here. So this would subtract 1. So anytime I subtract 1 over here, I have to subtract 5. So when I take 5 minus 5, this gives me my profit of 0. So this lets me know that her initial value was 0. Okay, so now let's go ahead and compare Carol and Kate. Okay, I noticed a couple things. I noticed that Carol, his rate of change is greater than Kate's rate of change. This means that Carol charges more for a bracelet than Kate. Okay, and I see maybe a reason why that is. Because Carol has an initial value of negative 15, whereas Kate had an initial value of zero. So this means that Carol started by owing more money than Kate. She actually ordered, oh, she started owing $15 more than Kate, okay? So a question I might ask is I might ask, um, for five bracelets, if, if who, who's going to make more of a profit for five bracelets, all right? So we'll start with Carol first. So we're going to use her equation, and I want to know who has the larger profit for five bracelets, okay? So over here, um, I have y equals 8, b minus 15. I'm going to put a 5 in for b because that's the number of bracelets. So I'm going to have y equals 8 times 5 minus 15. 8 times 5 is 40. y equals 40 minus 15, which is 25. So after five bracelets, I see that Carol makes $25, okay? Over here, I notice that there is no 5 on the table, so I'm going to have to extend my table the other way. I'm going to have to go this direction. So 4, 5, so I'm going to have to add 1. So if I'm adding 1, I'm going to have to go over here, and I'm going to have to add, add 5, sorry, from this one. So when I add 5 to 20, I end up with 25. So this lets me know that for 5 bracelets, Kate is going to make a profit of $25 also. So not only is Carol going to make a, brace, a profit of $25, so is Kate. So actually, nobody uh, makes more than the other. They make the same amount. So I might say Carol and Kate both make $25 with five bracelets sold. Okay.